Hi guys, uh, welcome to day 14th of the 44 day challenge, Knowledge is Useless. Uh, as uh, you might, might have seen in uh, uh, yesterday's video, uh, I got connected again to a very old story, uh, the story of Baba Yaga. I found it in uh, this amazing book uh, of uh, Clarissa Pincola's Tess. And it was also thanks to uh, uh, a video that uh, the author of another amazing book was uh, reading online. That is, uh, Thomas Verney was reading, and he's author of this also awesome book. But this time I'm not going to be talking about this book, but about the first one. Anyhow, the story of Baba Yaga has been resonated in, in my in me, in my day, in my soul, just so profoundly that uh, I want to share it a little bit with you and also share it on how it has been resonating in my life. Uh, the story of Baba Yaga is uh, more or less as follows. So, of course, it has more detail. But uh, it is a story of a, a, a tiny little girl who enters into the woods. And uh, in the woods, she gets uh, uh, more and more inside the woods, really. She, there is no way out of this darkness, of this magical place. And there in the woods, in the heart of the woods, he finds this witch. And this witch imagine a witch, how you want to imagine her, really old, wrinkly, uh, uh, somehow scary for a little girl like all the wisdom just uh, concentrated in a woman. And this could be, you know, a witch could be the scariest element of any fairy tale. And this girl, without any fear, with all the love and compassion that you can imagine, went sat on her lap and gave her a kiss. And the witch, the witch is Baba Yaga, I uh, was so thrilled by uh, her reaction that she asked all the magical creatures of the woods and brought them to for a party in the honor of the little girl. And they dance and they celebrate the wisdom and the power of this little girl. And after the party, Baba Yaga asked uh, the guardians, the powers of the woods, to take her home and that's that's uh, basically the story and i find it such so profound because uh, you know at the moment i i am experiencing uh, a personal expansion just by doing these videos to organize uh, by the fact that i am interviewing these amazing people on the pregnantpreneur project uh, and uh, other projects that uh, I'm doing uh, individually, you know, uh, maybe I, I should be telling you about all the, these other projects, uh, uh, creative projects of uh, I'm organizing a concert for children, I'm learning how to uh, use my intuition more and my creativity more, because that's basically the gist of it. I am... Um, and which is, you know, the core of this challenge. I am working on how it looks in 3D, my mission. What does it mean really practically? You know, uh, uh, forget about uh, uh, just writing a blog. Forget about just working with my customers. But I'm really expanding it in other areas that I've never done before. Ah, like, uh, uh, of course, I share with you that uh, I will be uh, uh, in a wrong, in a uh, catwalk, in a wrong way, uh, in a fashion show. That is the only pregnant woman there, so that would be really a lot of fun. I will share uh, photos with you. So, in other words, I personally feel like that little girl who is entering into the woods. I'm getting myself into increasingly more uncomfortable situations. And these uncomfortable situations, you know, at the end of the day, they are not as scary as I thought that they would be. And this is just uh, tremendously fascinating 
because if you get yourself in really uncomfortable situations, kind of such dangerous situations, you're really protected. Uh, you're, you're really safe. So the woods is not that scary as you would have thought. Uh, today, something really simple, trivial maybe uh, happened that uh, and there was a, 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 some kind of mismanagement or something that went wrong with the, the trams in my city. And I had to go in a tram that was really, really packed. And by now, you know, I'm really quite pregnant. And uh, I find it really scary to be in a packed uh, 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 tram in any public, uh, tr in any kind of public transport that is packed. And uh, it was, you know, like magic. I was in a packed tram, so many people, but really around me, there was enough space for me. It's like if I was in the woods, but still I was safe. So, um, uh, being that little girl is really uh, clear in my awareness. And that's something that I can imagine that you also quite uh, easily can feel. Uh, you know, you open the newspapers and you see that uh, all these tremendously huge things are happening around you, around your industry, around, you know, the place where you live, uh, that you kind of feel small and helpless, just really like a child in the woods. But this tale also talks about the other part of ourselves, the witch within, because really the woods is no other thing but, you know, our, our fear, our unconscious, those things that we haven't explored, that, uh, that being part of ourselves. So, uh, so that, that creature, that uh, uh, witch, is that inner witch that is showing us that actually in that darkness, in that jing, there is something extremely valuable and powerful and golden that is also who you are. Because that's, you know, another representation of who you are. That's actually your power. And possibly, if you have been playing with your intuition in the past days, you could have found her. And this is something that I'm starting to find more and more, that there is an old, wise woman inside me. And this old, wise woman, full of wisdom, is inside all of us. And I will say, old, wise woman, and really it's an insight also of all of us, men and women, because it's really an archetype, is uh, this uh, representation of Mother Earth, of knowing it all, of being the protector and uh, of the fire, the, the one who really has kind of the power of creation. And we have been grown to be scared of her, and, you know, you can blame it on all the stories of uh, burning witches during the Reformation. Uh, but this character is actually uh, a very important character for us, for our uh, growth as spiritual beings. So, uh, and the end of the tale is also very powerful. You will be taken out of the woods, you will be guided out of the woods by all the powers of the woods. So uh, you are actually initiated, you are actually given uh, powers for you to go back and give your gifts back in the world. So this stage of uh, initiation into uh, 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 your uh, intuition is, is really powerful and beautiful. And it starts from uh, with the, well, of course, it starts with entering to the woods, meaning looking at all those dark things that we don't want to see, like our fears, for example. And uh, it continues into kissing the witch and actually loving the witch, really falling in love uh, with that part of yourself that has been so scary. And you will be tremendously rewarded with powers 
beyond your expectations. So, wow, how can you practically go this week to use that? Well, let it sink. Let it just brew. What does it mean to you to walk in the woods? It's really to be outside your comfort zone. Get yourself outside your comfort zone and feel that you are fully protected. Do something that is completely out of your comfort zone. Contact somebody who would, you will never contact. Uh, send an email, make a phone call, go to a networking event. Uh, do something that puts you really outside of your comfort zone. And really see what happens and see how you're actually safe. Even if that person tells you, no, I don't want uh, uh, what you're selling or what you're asking to, for me to do, you're fully protected, you're fully supported and fully surrounded with all what you need. So get yourself into the woods. Get yourself into the woods with all your love and compassion, particularly for yourself. So that is for now. The inspiration is really forget about the walk in the park. Park. <laughs> forget about the walk in the park. Let's walk in the woods. Have a nice evening.